Here are the tests on my 2002 Santa, Santa Rita Mary toilet. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's still dirty, but I'm thinking it was uninstalled and then used as a planter for like a couple of years. There's the name. It was actually made in Venezuela. And yes, I have it on the on an American standard um, cadet handle. But besides that, it's using all the rest of the parts. I just had removed the other handle. The uh, but I'm just using all the rest. I have it set to the very top of the overflow tube. I just set it to be how I'll need uh, how much water I'll be using. Cause so much I might end up installing this toilet one day. Let, let's give her later flush and see how it does on tests. It's got a it's got a very cool flush. It's got a quick flush and a very nice flush. I'm thinking you'll have decent performance. I'm thinking it'll do have decent performance, and I think the bowl rinse looks pretty good. So, well, let's start off. Let's start off with the washcloth. Now I've tested this a couple of times. It has issues, like the Space Saver Cadet. Whenever it goes, it has a swirly flush, and sometimes they'll ball up and jam in the trapway. The Space Saver Cadet's the same way. I don't know if I got it on camera. But sometimes I'll lay it flat and then it'll go up and then sometimes it'll get ball up, balled up like like this much balled up up in the trapway. And then it'll go down and un unclogs itself on like a second flush. Usually when that happens, I won't call it a, I won't, I won't give count for it considering usually stuff like that. But the other thing I don't like about this toilet already, it doesn't have a glazed trapway. Because how, how tiny the trapway opening and restrict. And how tiny the opening and the bottom, it should have had a glazed trapway. But the Space Saver could have has a glazed trapway. Well, anyway, let's see how it does on a washcloth. Well, that did perfectly. I'm honestly not surprised. Now let's see how it goes on a grocery bag. The cool thing I like about this toilet is when it when it flushes, it refills the bowl after. And the, another thing I hate is how low the water spot is on it. That's the thing I don't like about open room toilets. The water spot on it's super low. And I got a hole. And the other cool thing is that the, the tank doesn't take too long to fill up. All right, the tank is full. Let's see how it does on a grocery bag. It seemed like it aired up a little bit. I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna kinda shove it up there. And then I'm gonna give it another flush on over on a filled tank. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna empty all the rest of the water out of the bowl. I believe the tank is almost full. Yep. I'm gonna hold the handle. No, that wasn't a that wasn't a pass. Open room toilets doesn't really seem to do that well on grocery bags. Considering actually all open room toilets I know usually doesn't have glazed trapways, so I'm not gonna try them both together considering it failed the grocery bag. So now let's see how it does on a dish towel. I'm honestly thinking it might have hopes taking it, considering that this thing is 
see through you could you could already see the fence through it and you could see the toilet through it so yeah i'm i'm thinking if I, i'm thinking i might end up needing to get a new dish towel soon but i'm not i'm not gonna stop using this until it like rips in half i'm expecting this not to do so well It got, it got that through all the way. I'm gonna see how, it doesn't appear to be clogged hard. Um, is it going? No. I'm gonna give it another flush. I just wanted to see how hard it got in there. I'm gonna give it another flush, and if it takes it, I'll call it a half pass. I know I stick my hand in the water, but I, I didn't, I didn't, Usually when I plunge it, I just want to see. Yeah, I really, I really, I really do like how quick the tank fills on this. So I'm gonna hold the handle again. Oh, that, I honestly like the weak siphon. So. I'm gonna call that a half pass. It did a lot. It did a lot better than I was expecting on that. Now we're gonna try some dirt and we're gonna do a microfiber washcloth. So the bowl roots on this look the bowl roots on this look really good on it. So and it and it looks like it'll do really well getting it out of the bowl, but it looks like around the sides here it'll probably miss, but I could be wrong. And my flapper must be a little leaky then. So, yeah, that's already going, so. Let's see how it does on dirt. Wow. It did perfect getting it out of the bowl. Now the bowl roots. That's minerals. I think that's just a little bit underneath there. I think that's... The bowl roots is really well. I still can't tell. Yeah, that stuff there was just a little bit of dirt left, but... Besides it leaving that little bit of dirt left, that did extremely well. I I think I think the bowl rent is like a nine point nine out of ten. Like it's the bowl rent is like a nine point nine out of ten. If it wouldn't have missed that, it would have gotten it would have done completely ten out of ten out of the bowl. But actually, I'm surprised that I actually did nine. The bowl rent is nine point nine out of ten, and getting it out of the bowl was a ten out of ten. So now let's see how it does in a microfiber washcloth. And I think that bolt is a little leaky, but it's rusted. I need to saw that off and I don't want to do that. So who knows? The tank might even stay on this. I'm expecting this to not do so well. Yeah, that didn't do so well. No, that got clogged. But, yeah, overall, I gotta say this toilet is not, not a bad performer. I do want to test the washcloth one more time and see if it balls up in the trap way. But even though if it doesn't, I'm not gonna destroy this toilet i honestly think it's quite rare because it was made in venezuela so this is actually a south american toilet so this toilet is actually quite rare this is quite weird rare to find in the united states so let's see how it does on a washcloth again it's 
See, like that, it kind of balled up up in that trapway. If that would have had a glazed trapway, I would have ex expected that to pass. So, yeah. I will still I will still clean this up and restore this though. It's rare, so but it's still past the first time. So it like yeah, it like balled up about this point up, up in the trapway. But still I kinda wish the trapway opening was a little bit more. I'll be right back because I'ma turn into a side flusher. Alright, so I made it a side flusher. Have it flushing up from the sides a little bit out of the front. Let's see. Well, that was a complete fail. The way this toilet is designed is, I think it need it needs a lot of water to um. So like, let me go ahead and just unplug some of these from the back. Cause like a front flushing test, I tried it and sometimes it'll go and siphon out and sometimes it won't. So. We're gonna try again, so more water. Yeah, the thing about this toilet, it needs, it needs a lot of rim power to go, so. Let's try it again. <laughs> It went, it went to siphon, but like, it went to siphon, but barely. So. You know what? I'll be back. Alright, now let's try this. Dang. That has a, that has a very violent flush there. Now that has more of a violent, it almost flushes like a, uh, Crane Avon Light. So. I might see how it does on this itty bitty washcloth. This is another small washcloth I have. I think it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit smaller than the standard green one I have. And it's a little bit thinner, so. This one has more of a violent flush, so if it balls up in the trapway, I won't be surprised. All right, let's see. Yeah, at least it went. It, at least it went down and siphoned. It went and siphoned, so. I haven't tried an overfill tank. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna leave the tank lid right here. Hopefully, I think I, yeah, I have a I have a couple of more paper towels. Let me just go ahead and plug the hole. All right, now we're gonna overfill the tank. It should have a better performance. Well, it'll have a better flush. Yeah, I think this toilet was designed that it needs a lot, a lot of water to be able to like go and siphon out. Like if the if the flush is weak, it wouldn't go. It would go like it would siphon. So, tanks overfill. Let's see how it does. <laughs> Wow, that actually had that actually had a really nice flush, and, it, and even I even made it siphon. 
it's all it does siphon but geez that that was actually very cool i'm act i'm actually do that again sorry about that guys i might actually flush it on this little water see how it how it does on this i'm actually just flushing on the water line Didn't really siphon out. Even when this thing has too much of a swirl, it wouldn't even uh, siphon. After this, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the fill valve on a very low setting, considering it's not this toilet. Honestly, has a very nice flush on a low water line because it makes it siphon. So this video may be long, but usually I usually do some interesting tests on usually doing this. Mainly concerning this toilet, this toilet's not a YouTube first. I thought it was, but um, the Frenzy Toilets Fanatic had found one exactly like this. And don't call this really a bad toilet considering it failed a, a washcloth. Well, it didn't fail it considering it clogged on it. Like I said, it's like the Space Saver Cadet. It'll ball up in the trap way. Alright, the tank is overfilled, but I'm going to actually do it on a close-up like this. Here you go. Yeah, this thing's got a this thing's got a very nice flush. So now I'm gonna Now we're gonna take all this out the room. Now. Now I'll be back to um, put it on the lower water line. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna show you. So I just have it set to literally a couple inches below it, the water line. It's, it honestly has a good wash. I, I used it because I was messing with it over there and I honestly think having it on that low water line is actually not too bad. I don't know, it probably won't do well on a water, but I'm gonna test it on a I'm gonna test it on the tiny little green washcloth at the bottom. I'ma try it on the green washcloth at the bottom. And it, and the tank only takes like five seconds, almost like not even a minute to fill up. So let's see if it could take this. It goes down the siphon and then it goes down to do its little blow up little siphon and then that's when the flapper stops. So let's see if we could take that at. That did perfect. Yeah, that, that didn't do too bad. There's also no minerals in the trapway as I can see. I'm actually gonna see if it could take this one, the normal wash coat I use. So, all right. I'm expecting this to not do well. Maybe. I'm expecting this. I don't. I don't know. I didn't. Know. pretty well did pretty good for surprisingly on the low water line this thing that has a 
a little bit of a tiny trapway and it's not glazed that actually that I actually didn't do bad so let's see how it does on on a lower water line in the bowl <laughs> Siphon's a little bit weaker, but overall, yeah, this is kind of so. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna actually just get a little bit of uh, grass and just. All right, let's see how this will do. I did perfect, so, yeah. My rating of this toilet is probably, uh, I gotta say it about a, an, I'll give it an eight out of 10. It's a, it's a good toilet, it's rare to find, for sure. I'm not, I'm probably, I'm not gonna smash it, I'm not gonna smash it because it's a rare, because it's, it failed a wash guard. It's a pretty rare toilet. I only got it for I only got this toilet for ten bucks in my restore, which which I don't think these are still made. Let me know in the comments below if this is still made. I'm gonna show you on the model number in the tank on the tank lid. I guess just look up. I don't know how to say that. Santorio's Marcy number thirty ninety seven and see if it's still made and see if it's still made and if it is. How much it's going for? Continue. I, I would like to see how much it's going for. So, yeah. So yeah, that will include. I actually do one more flush. One more moment. So uh, yeah, that. The performance on this is actually decent. Like I said, sometimes it'll, um, sometimes it'll struggle, like it'll, like sometimes it'll mentally struggle, like it'll struggle just this much on that washcloth, but I'm honestly not surprised, but it actually did well on that washcloth on the low water line it has. That time, that time it didn't barely want to siphon out, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. And I also forgot to show y'all, it, it does have a bunch of cracks back there. I think, I think the person had it. It was either manufactured, but the way it looks like it was from tightening the tank too low, so. Yeah. Bye.